What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I know I've made this video actually quite a few times and I say quite a few as in two different times but there were times in there where I spoke a little bit too fast or maybe something didn't quite jive. So here I am remaking this video and it's how to transfer photos from your uh, cell phone, so in the, your smartphone, so in this case it's going to be an Android, but it typically can work the same if you have an iPhone as well. So again, we're gonna be transferring photos from your phone over to a Windows machine, and we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. So with that being said, let's jump right in. So to get started, of course, you are going to need two things. You're going to need the phone or device that you're going to be transferring the photos from. And since we're going to be using a USB method, you will need to have the, the USB cable that typically came with your phone because there are two different types of USB cables. There are some that can only do a charge only, and there are some that have the ability to transfer data as well as charge your phone too. Sweet. So to get started, of course, you're going to want to take your USB cable. You're going to plug the USB type A end into the uh, back of the computer, front of the computer, or a hub if you've got a USB hub. You're going to plug that in, and then, of course, you're going to plug the other end into your mobile device. So I'm going to plug this into the hub that I've got right here. And I'm going to plug the other end again into the bottom of this phone. Now, once I plug this in, or once you plug your USB cable in, you should get an audible tone indicating that a connection has been established. So if I go ahead and plug this in, come on, you'll hear that there is a connection established and it's now saying charging. You'll notice on the screen here that mine automatically opened up the uh, phone because I have told my computer to automatically open up the folder whenever I connect this device. You may get a little pop-up somewhere in the top right hand that's asking what you want to do with it. However, if you don't get this window popped up, you can go on over to this PC once you've opened up an Explorer window. And I have named mine TARS. Yours might be something different. It might be like Samsung or some other type of name. Yours should show up under here. If it does not, you may want to click this little arrow next to devices and drives, and that should show any type of drives that are currently being detected by the operating system. So going back into the phone, if you'll notice that it says this folder is empty, and that is because I have a lock system on this phone that it's going to either ask for my pin number or my thumbprint in order to unlock the phone. If your shows empty, you will want to make sure that your phone is unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and just press in my thumbprint. It's going to unlock the phone. You can see that it's currently unlocked. And you'll notice on the folder, we now have access to the files. We've got your my card. I have an, uh, a micro SD card in this phone. And I also have my phone storage. If for any reason you still are not getting anything showing up, again, try a new USB port to see if the one that you've plugged into is bad or if it's, you can try a different cable. Otherwise, you can come up to the menu here under the USB or file transfer if you're on an Android, and you can see that I've got my USB settings. You will wanna make sure that it's set to this phone, and you can either have it set to transferring files slash, and slash Android auto, cannot talk, or you want it to have on transferring images in order for it to connect via the MTP or the mass transfer protocol. If this is your first time plugging it in, which in this case it's not for me, you may get a prompt here on the bottom of your screen that asks if you want to allow this device, as in this computer, to access that MTP, you will wanna tap on allow to complete that connection. Now you can see that everything is unlocked and we can access all of the image within the, the, uh, the phone itself. I have a memory card, so I've got the card option here and I have the internal storage, so I have a phone option here. This is the part where you're gonna to want to determine where the images and or videos that you're wanting to transfer over are located. And you can do that, so if we go into the gallery on my phone, you can just pick an image, so we'll just say this uh, train image right here. We wanna find out where this image is stored. On this specific operating system, you can swipe up and you'll get a path, in this case it's internal storage, forward slash DCIM, which stands for digital camera image, forward slash camera. If you don't have that feature ability, you can always 
tap the three little lines or find out where you can locate the details of this image. So with this, we click on details, it's gonna have that same path listed there as well. Like I said, this is the Note 10. The uh, Some of the newer Samsungs all roughly have the same operating system, so should, yours should work like that if that's what you have. If you have an iPhone or an iOS device, yours might be slightly different. You'll want to determine where that stuff is typically saved, but most of the time, they do not have micro SD card slots, so you're strictly using the internal storage anyway, so it should be pretty simple to find. So now that we know where this specific image is located, we can find that on the computer. So phone is typically the internal storage. Obviously the card is the micro SD card. So we know that image was going to be in the internal storage. So we'll click on phone. We know it was in DCIM. So we'll click on DCIM and it was under the camera folder here. Typically your phone is going to save your images either on a micro SD card or an internal storage by default. So most of your images should show up within one of those the, one of those two locations. Now, depending on how much media you have will obviously depend on how long it takes to load everything, but you can see that everything's finished loading and we have those images here. Now, there's a few ways that you can move these images around. You're gonna first want to determine A, what images and file or video files you're going to want to transfer and where you want to transfer them to. So once you've determined that, so I know I want to take this image from here and I want to, we'll say, put it on my desktop. You may have a drive that you may want to put it on, like a, a specific folder. If you have a specific images a folder for all of like your images, you want to determine where that is in order for you to save it. So I'm gonna move this window over to the left and I'm going to just right click on the desktop. We're gonna do new and we're gonna do folder. We're just gonna say backup for this specific video. I'm just gonna dump my files into this backup folder here. I'm gonna open that up as well. Okay, so just to recap, we've got the mobile device here on the left and we have our place that we're going to be putting those files on the right. So there's a few ways that you can do this. The easiest way that I have found is you're going to want to, of course, determine how many or which ones you're going to be transferring over before you actually do the transfer. So I'm going to hold control and this will allow you to select individual files that you can select. So if you don't want these images, maybe not that one, but you want to select some afterward, you can hold on control and that will allow you to select individual images or deselect them if you decide otherwise. So I've got those ones selected. Maybe I'm like, you know, I don't want this one. I'll deselect that one and it will no longer uh, be selected, of course. The other option is if you just click on one and you want to transfer everything else in between, you can click on one, find another one, hold shift and left click and that'll select the first one, the last one and everything else in between. Again, once you've determined which ones you're going to be moving, you can then do the next steps. So there's a few different options we can do. You can right click on it and you can click copy. And what that will do is it will make a copy from the current one and put it wherever it is that you're going to paste it. So it'll keep the original on the mobile device and make a copy on the computer. If you do a cut, it's going to take it from the mobile device or your phone and put it on the computer. So if you see We'll do, we'll right click this one. We'll click on cut. You can see that it kind of went to like a, a transparent the indicating that you're about to do a cut command. And if we go to the location that you want to put them in, you can right click and you can click paste and you can see that it moved it here, but it removed it off of the original device. So if you're wanting to keep them on your mobile phone or device and keep a copy on your computer, you're gonna want to do a copy command. I know all this video is a little bit lengthier, but that's because, like I said before, I went a little bit too fast. So I just want to make sure that you guys understand the difference between the two. So uh, we've got it on here. If we want to move it back, you can do a reverse order. So if you have um, photos or images or videos or whatever on the computer that you wanna move over to your mobile device, you just reverse the steps. If you can right click, in this case, we'll do another cut come over here and we'll right click 
and do a paste and that will take it from the computer and put it back on the mobile device. So if we refresh this, you can see that that image is now back. Now again, if you wanted to just do a copy and have them on both, you just right click and do a copy. There are keyboard shortcuts for these. You can do a control C for copy, a control X for cut, and then you can do a control V as in Victor and that will do a paste command. So if we did, so let's select a couple of these. We'll do a control C, come over to where we want to put them, do a control V, and you can see that it made a copy of them, placed them on the computer, but left a copy of them on the mobile phone or on my phone. If we did this one, we did a control X. Again, you see that it's doing the cut command. Come over to our backup file, we'll do a control V. That put the file here, it, made a, it took that from the phone and placed it on the computer. So again, there's lots of commands that you can use. Control C, Control X, and Control V. I know there's probably a lot of information that I just blasted you with, but hopefully that goes through and kind of clears the air and was slow enough that you guys were able to understand the difference on how to take a file, move it from your mobile phone or your device, and uh, back it up on the computer. So either direction, it is a pretty straightforward process, and that's all I have for you guys today. That's just the, the small tech tip that I wanted to give you guys today. Like I said, I've made this video in the past, and uh, probably moved a little bit too quickly. So hopefully this was a little bit slower and uh, more of you guys were able to follow along. So if you got something out of it, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. And if you want to support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Got, cool, uh, got, a, got a ton of cool merch over there, including this hat. If you are a photographer like myself, you may enjoy this type of hat. But uh, head on over there, check it out, see what you like, but anyways, Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for what you guys do, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>